to my commentator. Don't worry, I've got, I've got, I've got my notes. So as far as the matchup goes, I have no idea what to expect. Palutena because, versus like, the hero. So the, the one thing that we have is this. So Palutena does have the ability to reflect. If she does a bad job and he's still on the menu when she reflects, then she's gonna eat whatever spell that he has ready. Fortunately, I can't read Japanese, so I have no idea what option she's gonna Yo, I can read Japanese, and I still have no idea what option he's picking. The names are so very different from English. Yeah. Like, right there, he used Zoom, and it was like called Zoom. Yeah, and I mean, some of them I know sound a little bit similar, but other ones are completely different. That was about. Yo, audience popping off for DDD. Brood, yeah. That was Brood. Brood and okay. Brood, yeah. Okay, we got the ledge set up right there coming from Sue, but we'll do right now. Oh, we got bounce coming up, so that is gonna do a really good job of just destroying the entire pace of auto circle. So auto circle is basically out of play for another five seconds at this point. Yeah, but Abadango doesn't care about your circle boys. Still gonna get you with the throw to the back there. Okay, so this is a this is kind of how you should expect to see most hero matchups go. He's going to be losing neutral most of the time. He's not really going to get anything started. It really comes down to a few critical hits and moments. Okay, and this is that's somehow how you can get something started. Okay, got the Ruda to zoom back. And interesting fact, I didn't know your chance of getting zoom increases exponentially when you are off near the blast zone yes. in the bubble. And this we character can. has layers. Yeah, no, there, there's a couple things. Like, there's even some debuffs when you choose certain options. Like, I believe acceleration. Yeah. You actually do take a little bit more damage and you get a little bit farther as well. Kind of similar to the way functions with let's it. Let's talk about the debuff of getting caught in those nares. You take a lot of damage. Oh, yeah. But basically, yeah. The hero's buttons aren't very good, so he's going to struggle a, a lot with getting in. And especially with recovery, if he doesn't have zoom, it's almost impossible to recover in certain situations. Especially against a character like Palutena. You know? Because she has so many points. Recover, up there, can do it. It's amazing how reliably he gets that zoom, but Palutena's still gonna wall That's him out. Right. Nice back air. Yeah, that back air is ridiculously strong, but it is ridiculously slow. It's like Ganon F smash in the air. <laughs> like, oh my god. It's like most back airs you're used to like, be able to hit, jump. Um, throw it out and then cast all of it. That one you can't do it at all. You know, that's a very apt comparison. I had not considered that before. <laughs> so, when Hero does have acceleration on, it is pretty crazy. Um, he can get some pretty good zero best tricks off of it, but unfortunately, it doesn't last too long. <laughs> that was pretty. That was pretty funny to watch that uh, up throw up air combo with double speed. <laughs> up throw up air definitely going to be a lot more acceleration. Okay, so Sue kind of charging up his resources right now. The other thing too is like he knows that he has an but Oh, trying to get a hard read there with that. But fortunately, he might have been thinking that the way he would have fallen would have been like Orosphere, where he would have dropped down. But as you saw, just kept him in place going with that full charge one. Kaboom! Dang! <laughs> I was just gonna say, Abba's such a solid player, not letting himself get hit by any of the bushwhackery. <laughs> If you guys haven't played a hero enough, Kaboom is the most busted one out of all of them. Like, not only do you get it pretty often, but it will cover basically half stage and pull you in as well. Ridiculously strong, too. Really, really good hitbox. So, obviously, like, when you get, if you are, like, halfway across the stage, or even if you're right next to them, generally an option you're going to want to go for. Oh, wow. And just jumping back to stage over her head for free. Oh, yeah. No, we got acceleration. We got to have that. All right. Two. The rare punish on the zoom back. Yeah, sometimes you get really lucky with it. That back here taking that second shot again. Sue right now, he is basically one critical hit away from taking this. And you know, the more that you guys watch here, the more you have to understand he kind of needs this to work. <laughs> oh my god, 30% off of that sizzle? I wanna say. There. Hero is very heavy, so he's gonna be able to live that. Got the zoom. And this time, lucky to boom. Okay, was that going to it? Okay. And even if he didn't die, he was pretty much gonna die because he had two mana left. Yeah. All right, well, good stuff for Abadango keeping his cool that entire time. And if you guys aren't multi-streaming right now, uh, Zaki versus Prude is 1-1. DVD Plant, not a matchup you're ever really gonna see, especially at this level. So I'd highly recommend you guys check it out. Um, for you American viewers out there, um, important thing to know is Brood has wanted to main Banjo-Kazooie um, forever. 
like, he want, the reason why he played Duck in the first place was because he reminded him of Banjo. So the second Banjo drops, you are probably never going to see the plants again. So if you want to see some good plant action, watch all that you can of him right now. Because yeah. I think by the time Genesis comes around, you probably won't see him anymore. Okay, bringing it out from Lucario right now. Just gets it feel comfortable. Sticking it out with the hero, which is very unfortunate, but very, very understandable. It is kind of a game. Of the <laughs> I don't understand what, what his thought process was going into that game. Like, oh, it's Abadongo, the most solid player. You know, one of the most solid players at the tournament. I think he just wanted to play some hero. I mean, okay. I can't blame him for wanting you, you to play some hero. You can't blame him, but man, you got such, fun. <laughs> such, such great Lucario, though. Kind of more of what we're expecting right now. We'll see what we're going to do. Okay. So, as long as if Abba's not able to close out those stocks, like after like, the down throw back airs and all that, um, Sue should have a really good time just getting that good comeback. Of course, damage racking, uh, I'll take no stranger to putting somebody at 100% immediately. Okay. Ooh, the uncharacteristic dash attack and uh, disadvantage. Nice. Sue finding his moments to get back to stage. Good for him. Pretty good percentage right now for at least doing damage with Aura. I'm not gonna get anything ridiculous, but basically he's like at normal functioning levels. And just kind of feeling each other out right now. A lot of careful footsies going out there. Back air spamming. Also it doesn't air. And finally we got one hit in there. Sue not gonna push advantage at all. He's expecting the camp on the platform. He's very content to mix him up with these uh, reverse side beats. These reverse, reverse beats. Finally I get to see that. That's such a beautiful confirm in the air too. Not gonna lie, that was like watching National Geographic, where like the bug gets caught in the fish mouth in slow motion, <laughs> and there's classical music in the background. That was a beautiful kill. Oh. Abadonga doing his best to get in. Sue walking him out completely. Yeah, there we go. We got our first counter, but not really anything that's gonna be impactful there. It's just. Oh man, he thought he could sell it out, but you wow. can just charge your smash attacks for so long now that it just didn't even matter. I think it's about five seconds, the it's entire duration. Right. Yeah. Wow. Right, okay, put in the washing machine right now. <laughs> yeah, I gotta come out all wet. <laughs> Try to get back into dry advantage, but we'll see. This air has covered so much space. Oh, good call outs. Honestly, from that point, Sue had nowhere to go, because that smash is going to intercept every single recovery option that he had. You know these guys play each other a lot, just based on the natural experience that Abadango has against Lucario. Yeah. Definitely something to like note, especially like with the way, I think it's just generally like a Japanese um, style playing. It's like, they very much aren't committing at all. They're, they're all, almost at every single instance, you see them just going for a lot of safe, smart pokes the entire time until they really feel comfortable pushing the advantage. It's, it's very true. It's a much more much more passive game than I think we as American players are used to. Yeah. Oh. Alright, I'm going to blow up for that. Oh man, had the read on the positioning with that back air, but... Actually, still invincible after that air dodge. That's good. There. Wow, sneaking in with a little back air, saying, "Hey, I got you a Christmas present in August." <laughs> oh. Okay. No oh, good ledge sequence going. And then Sue smartly not going back to stage this time, making it so that he could just go around it. I forgot that move had two heads. <laughs> not gonna let that happen again. the wild thing, I feel like both the character discords for these two characters could learn so much. Yes. Ugh, I understand. Match. But that's rough. <laughs> Abadango ultimately taking it over, too. 2-0. Yeah, just a lot of solid gameplay right there.